it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Hip Kit Club and I'm working with the May 2022 kits and it's my first play with these kits, they've only just arrived with me and today it's main kit or pocket life only kit with cardstock. Um, so I've chosen to use the main kit for today's layout so just a brief look at what we get. You get some fabric die cuts, there are 28 in those, they're butterfly shaped. You get some wood veneer frames. You get some lovely mint green alphas by Pink Fresh from the Life Right Now collection. And then you get an exclusive pack of cardstock die cuts. These are um, the Together Is Best collection. They're exclusive to Hip Kit. And then obviously get your patterned papers, lots of them this month and some really pretty florals and colors as well. So apart from the alphas in the main kit, everything else is hip kit exclusive in this kit. Um, and I'm gonna get stuck straight in. So today my assignment was to create a grid layout with um, between six and nine sort of grids. I'm gonna go for six, you'll see in a minute, I do faff around a little bit trying to decide if to do six or nine, but I do settle on six. Um, I'm cutting colours to match my photos where possible. So I've got two photos printed off. It's the same photo, but in different sizes. Wasn't sure which one I would use. And it's of my little boy um, baking cake. So he's just about to put his tray bake in the oven and his cake cases are kind of rainbow colored. So there's lots of different colors in this photo. So it works really well with this kit. So I, um, it doesn't limit my color palette too much. So I've tried to pick papers um, with colors that feature in my photo. So the first one I reached for is called So Timeless and it's this gorgeous floral paper. Lots of pinks and oranges in this one, which go really well with my photo. And I'm going to um, make a kind of fringe strip with this one. So my grid pieces are two and a half inches squared, but I want this to have three layers of fringing. Now I don't have a pair of fringing scissors, and in fact, this is the first time I have ever done fringing on a layout. Um, and I'm just simply using my cutter bee scissors to um, make little snips. Exactly the same effect as fringing scissors, maybe not quite as neat um, and it's obviously more time consuming but I love the effect it gives. I'm just going to layer those up and I've got a piece of two and a half inch squared white cardstock I'm just going to stick those to and that just helps me keep the formation and make sure that it stays two and a half inches squared and doesn't get any bigger or smaller because that will be really noticeable on a grid layout. So I'm just using that as kind of like a template and I'm going to layer those up and I'm going to do that with a couple of the grids. You can see just under my white cardstock there I've got another patterned paper that again is hip kit exclusive and that's called Soul Sisters and I'm going to make um, another fringed sort of grid square from that one as well. And I'm also going to have a couple of kind of concertina folded grids just trying to make it a bit more interesting I find grid layouts as lovely as they are and kind of they're a bit more simple and you can really enjoy embellishing them but I do sometimes think they look a bit boring and I struggle to find ways to make them more interesting so today I've challenged myself to try to do something different on this layout so I've got some grid squares that are going to be fringed and I've got some that you can see here are going to be sort of concertina folded and I did cut that one a tiny bit too short um, but never mind, I can kind of stretch it out a bit and make it two and a half inches. So it's not the end of the world, but in an ideal world, I would have had it a little bit longer um, with a few more folds, but never mind. Um, this again is another patterned paper that's exclusive to Hip Kit. This is called Life is Better With You. And I do cut a square of that to use, but in the end, I don't end up using it. But it is a gorgeous floral patterned paper with loads of different colors in it, really, really pretty. It just didn't work for my color scheme. Um, it just kind of looked too pale against the other bolder colors. So um, I will definitely be using that patterned paper on another layout, it just didn't really work for today's. So again, I'm coming back here with that Soul Sisters paper and I'm trying to pick a section of the paper that had lots of bold colour in it. So the centre is kind of pinks and oranges, which obviously work well with my photo. So again, I'm just using my paper trimmer. 
I've got interchangeable blades on mine. So the orange one is a cutting blade and the white one is a scoring blade. So it helps me out. I can just swap the blade over and make my score lines, which makes folding a lot easier. And I've just scored both those pieces um, every quarter of an inch and then folded them back and forth, like peaks and mountains, not peaks and mountains, valleys and mountains, <laughs> get there in the end. Um, and it just makes life easier doing that with my scoring trimmer. If you've got a scoring board as well, just as simple. But again, I'm gonna adhere that down to a bit of white cardstock to keep its shape. Um, and I'm slowly getting there with my grid pieces. I'm gonna have two concertina, two fringed, and then I end up using two from the cardstock kit as well. Um, and I use a lovely kind of minty color, I think it was called Heather, um, which matches my little boy's apron in the photo really nicely. And then I wanted a bit more orange on the page, so I bring out the orange cardstock as well. And I do faff around a lot in a minute. I'm gonna probably cut a huge section of this video out because I do struggle to decide between six and nine grids and whether I want them going straight horizontally across the page or whether I want them going diagonally across the page. I then try like a cross formation, um, really just having a play with my grids and trying to see how I like it. I really did like the six grids going diagonally across the page, but then it meant um, I'd have had to have my photo going diagonally as well to kind of keep in with it. It wouldn't have looked right having my photo then straight, uh, and that was bugging me. So I um, scrapped the diagonal idea, um, and in the end, I did come back to um, just sort of having them straight horizontally across the page. But you'll see here, I do faff around a little bit now, trying to decide on a formation. So there we go, here is um, my final um, composition. I actually decided to leave the footage in of me sort of having a play, just so you can see the process I went through in trying to decide how to have this layout. I know a lot of people think that um, people on design teams get it perfect every time and it's really not the case. You can see there, um, it took me a long time to decide on something that I was happy with. So it is a, a case of trial and error, even for those of us on design teams, we don't get it right all the time, um, very rarely in fact, but I thought it'd be useful to keep that footage in for you just to see um, the process and kind of the thought process I went through in trying to decide how to have my grids. So as you can see, I've gone for the six grids. So I've got my two concertina folded, my two fringed, and then my two cardstock. And rather than having my photo as one of the grid pieces, I decided to have it um, just sitting on top of sort of four of them centrally. And it's larger than my grid squares. They are two and a half inch squares. And my photo is probably about three by three, I think. Um, and I've matted it on a couple of cardstocks, oh sorry, not cardstocks, pattern papers from the collection. So I've used the So Timeless collection and I've used both sides of that and given it two layers and distressed the edges of those. And now I'm just using some bits from that gorgeous exclusive die cut pack to embellish. And I love this because there was a few cupcakes in there which worked perfectly for my photo. So I'm gonna use all of the cupcakes on this layout. Um, one of them says sweetest sugar on it, which I really liked as well. Um, so I've got those, I've got a little sort of flag banner that says yes, which I thought was really cute because my little boy gets very excited by making cakes and um, so that worked well. And I've got a little kind of ribbon banner that says enjoy every day. And then I've also bought some of those gorgeous fabric butterflies in and I'm just going to stick those down in the centre and sort of bend the wings up slightly. 
um, these would probably be really good to paint as well if I was allowed to use a colour kit today I definitely would have had a go at painting these but it's main kit only so um, no colour kit for me but I think on my next layout I definitely will have a go at painting these butterflies because I think the ink will sit on the fabric really nicely and soak in and I think they could look super pretty especially with like shimmers products that are really shiny um, so yeah definitely gonna have a go at that on my next layout but as you can see, I've just decorated the page with the die cuts and um, those ephemera pieces. I've used a couple of tabs, one on the bottom left and one on the top right grid, just kind of colour coordinating them, pink on pink and blue on blue. Um, I've got a flower and a little kind of um, tabby banner piece and a couple of floral pieces I've snuck in. I've got a little bit on the bottom corner of my photo that says yay. Um, and I love the way that all the colours go together. And it's a really simple page, it's, there's not a lot to it, it's not very difficult, a grid design, but I've found ways to make it interesting and to bring some texture and dimension into the page. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turns out, especially where it's all centred in the middle and I've got some lovely white space around the outside. So although there's a lot um, embellishing the pages, uh, sorry, the page on those grid sections, it doesn't overcrowd the page and it's not too busy because you've got all that white space to rest your eye on. Um, so I really like how it turned out. And then I just added my title at the bottom there, as you saw, and with those pink fresh alphas, they're a lovely mint green colour, again, which matches my little boy's apron in the photo and a couple of the cupcake cases. So perfect colour for my title, which is obviously making cakes. Um, and then I've just put out these wood veneer framed. You get uh, four sort of photo corners in there. So I've just used a couple of those, not necessarily as photo corners, but just as embellishments on the page. And that is me finished for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this layout and the process and it's given you some inspiration and some ideas on making grid layouts more interesting. I mean, you could do that fringing and concertina on anything, but um, I just thought it was a really nice way to make a grid layout more interesting. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of inspiration in making your own layouts. But I will pop some links in the description box below for you to our Hip Kit Club group on Facebook. Also, obviously, to the store where you can sign up. If you're a subscriber, there's lots of benefits. You get um, discounted. Um, main kit you get further discounts and free postage on um, additional kits there's also loads of subscriber free cut files as well so lots of benefits of subscribing I'll list that all in the description box below for you but thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time